Welcome to day 18 of 90 Days of Numbers. So I got a request over Twitter about using formula between different tables. So here um, you can see that it doesn't matter if you're using the same table or a different table to get your data out of, you can still use it. So I have selected the test score in one of the tables and then I've got the test total score out of in a different table down the bottom. So I have quite simply click cell, new formula, and then when I've got the option to choose where I'm getting it from, I have chosen off of one table and then I've also chosen off the table down the bottom. So for this one, I've chosen B10 as my test score, but then I've used a table down the bottom for the total of how many it's out of to divide it by. Um, and they're not in the same table. So that's really useful. It means you can keep data limited in one table. You don't have to busy it up. What I wasn't sure about is whether you could do the same thing across two different sheets. So that was something I wanted to look into. So again, you can see here that I'm doing it all off of two different tables in one sheet. But the question I got over Twitter was, can you actually do it between sheets? And I found out the answer was yes. And what this is very good for is meaning that you can keep one sheet on one, uh, one table on one sheet, very minimalistic because all your data that you're grabbing is in a different sheet. So for here, I'm doing an average of test scores. So I've quite simply um, done the formula, typed in the word average and then clicked on it so that it knows I want to do an average and then highlighted from a different sheet the test scores that I want to use. So once again, cell, new formula. And then I've typed in average and then clicked on average. And that will tell me that I want to make an average of the values. And the values I'm grabbing are from the previous uh, sheet labeled test scores. And then I've just highlighted the ones I want to use. So simple as that.